Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to this brand new Zero training series. This is a free course, it's a tutorial, absolutely for free, that will teach you the basics of Zero accounting software. If you have Zero, it will look something like this. Don't worry if it doesn't look exactly the same. There are going to be updates to the software, the layout might change slightly, the colors might be a bit off. These software providers do update their software now and then. This course will still be relevant. 99% of everything I will show you will be relevant no matter when you're watching this course. Just stick with it. I'm going to teach you the basics and it's absolutely for free. Not a promotion. Just trying to help you out. If you head over to my website freebookkeepingaccounting.com click on free stuff. I have all these free accounting and bookkeeping software courses. They're all for free. If you find the zero page, this course is here. And you can go through this course from my website. I suggest that because the course videos will be in order and you can click on them. There's other information on this page which may help you. It's much better than just watching through Google or through YouTube. They don't always recommend the next video in line. It's okay, but it's generally is a lot better going to the website. Okay, so in this first video, I'm going to show you how to use the software, how to get started. And we're going to start off in this first video by adding details about the company onto the software. So the company name, the company contact details, the more information you put onto the software, the better. The more that's entered, the more zero can generate for you. So we're going to go to the top left here and click on our company name. It might say demo company. If you're using a demo account, it might actually have your company name. And we're going to click on settings just here. So I click on settings. I'm taken to the organization settings screen. And under general, there should be an option for organization details. If I click on here, we can enter information about the company that's going to appear on reports, it's going to appear on invoices. And it's important that all this information here is up to date because it's just going to make the software run a bit better for us and produce things that, that are a bit more accurate. So at the top here, we have the display name and we have the legal trading name. For most of you, this is going to be the same. So let's say our company is called the Bookkeeping Master LTD. That's the name that's going to display on zero. And then the name we want to appear in our documents is the same. If for whatever reason you want a different display name or different legal trading name, you can just enter these differently. We can then upload a logo. So all we need to do is click upload logo and find our file. So I've chosen my file. I click upload and this logo now appears. So this logo will appear on my invoices and other documents. So if you have a company logo, which most businesses do, you can upload that here. If you ever need to change or remove the logo, then the options are just to the right here. What is the line of our business? We can put accounting, obviously put your industry in, organization type, limited company, sole trader. Most people watching this are going to fall under one of those two, limited company or sole trader. If you're a partnership, if you're just doing this to keep your own personal accounts, if you're a charity, those options are available too. Our company registration number and, and a description of the business, so three, bookkeeping and accounting courses. We then have two addresses. We have a postal address and a physical address. So if the company does have two addresses, one for post, one as the physical trading address, you can enter these. For most people, it's going to be the same. So if I just tick this box here, then we only have the one address up here. So it's going to be 123 Bookkeeping Street. And that will be in 
county and town. State, region, county, postal code, country. And then attention to if you want a, an attention to managing director, finance director, or, or whatever appearing as part of the address. We then have our telephone number, our email address. This is my email address if anyone wants to get in contact with me. Info at bpfs-online.com The website. This is the company website. As I mentioned already, it's really important to enter as much information as you can. If we want our website to appear on invoices and documents, then we need to enter it in here. And there will be a video later on about creating invoices and having information appear on those invoices um, and other documents. There is a, an option down here to add further information. So if you have things like a Facebook page, a mobile number, perhaps you want to add your Twitter details, that's all found here under this add contact field. We're ready to go. Make sure you click save. Then information is now saved onto zero. We're going to go back now, so settings. Before I went to organization details under general to enter that information, but now I'm actually going to go down to the bottom here and go to advanced settings. So there's something you can't find in the settings area, which you think should appear in the settings area. It might be here under the advanced settings. If I click on there, we're going to go to the financial settings. The reason why we're going here is I want to show you where to enter the financial year of the organization. Mine is 31st of March. You can obviously change that. You can add yours if nothing's currently showing. But enter the financial year of the company, business, entity, charity, and then the reports will generate according to the financial year that you have entered. That's it for now. We might come back to this area later on. Make sure you save. We can go back to the dashboard here. And that's it for video one. I'll speak to you in the next video. There should be a link in the description below for the next video. If there isn't, then just go on that website. Go on my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com. Find the course and just go through from the course. It's much easier. If you don't want to go on the website, there should be a link in the description or YouTube might recommend the appropriate video, the next video in line to the right or below this video. Thank you so much for being with me and I'll speak to you again shortly.